Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting the Quisitor Downfall of the Apostates on Night Shroud Records. No, I do not have the new Dequisitor yet, so when I do have it, I will let you sickos know. I get hit up all the time about the new Dequisitor release. I have not had my own personal money for a while, so just chill. <laughs> when I get a chance to get it, I'll grab it. But in the meantime, I'll be enjoying Downfall of the Apostates still. I love this fucking release so much. Like, I've heard some of the new Dequisitor tracks on... Well, one was on the um, last year's Kill Town Death Fest comp. But also on the Kill Town rehearsal tape. I have number 15 out of 20. There's some new songs on here as well. I think there's three of them. So I have heard some of the new material and the song that Dequisitor has posted up from the new album. So fucking good, but if you're a CD or cassette guy, CDs, Dark Descent Records has you covered, LPs, I don't know if Night Shroud Records still has copies of this, but they might. I would check Dark Descent, but... For cassettes, go to Head Split or Extremely Rotten Productions and they should have you covered. Maybe Night Shroud for the new album, I'm not sure, but I know for a fact that Head Split did Downfall here in the States on cassette. Definitely one of my favorite death metal records of last year that still gets heavy plays on the turntable. And I have to thank Jesus at MSUO for sending this over last year, randomly. I was so fucking stoked because I got this a little bit in, a, in advance, and fuck yeah. I, I just got to enjoy it for months and months and months, and now it's been over a year, and I'm still enjoying it. Fucking, I love the Quisitor, and... I love Sea to Doom records. Seriously, Steve, you're the fucking man. This is some sick shit right here. And same thing with Grave Dust. Thank you for this t shirt. The shirt is bad fucking ass. The band has some leftover stuff from their um, last tour. This shirt is one of those items. Highly suggest grabbing one. Thank you to Grave Dust especially, and also this next band features a member of Grave Dust, and that is Thanamagus with Incorporal Passage, Seed of Doom Records. Holy shit! What happens when you get John Quintana from Apraxic, Grave Dust, and Ritual Necromancy alongside Charlie from Ascended Dead? Blood soaked and necrosic, along with what seems to be newcomer Nick Alicio, you get some of the most vicious, savage death metal to come out of the Pacific Northwest right now. Holy shit, this is 7 inches and 45 RPMs of savage, barbaric death metal. First off, just look at that promo photo. It's fucking awesome. And Charlie's one of the gnarliest drummers in the game and one of my favorite like engineers as well when it comes to music. So this is just to me like the perfect fucking storm of death metal. It's seriously everything I love about death metal within these two tracks right here. It's fucking sick. Lower most dispiritedness and unburied whispers make up Incorporal Passage. Now, you can call this a demo, you can call this an EP. That's just for the sake of argument. Just call it a 7-inch for now. 
But this is available on cassette and I'm sure it sounds just as savage as it does on vinyl. But wow, this sounds great on wax. Holy shit. Like the filth is still there, but it's just loud, it's heavy, it's fucking great. Charlie killed it, as always, but like he really, really killed it here. Underworld Studios is like, to me, you have Earhammer Studios and then you have Underworld Studios. They're like neck and neck when it comes to making some of the best death metal from the bay to the Pacific Northwest and it's just fucking so sick when you see what bands came out of those studios and whatnot everything starts making sense when you look at their demos to if they did a split release to when they eventually did a full length most of the time they'll just stick with the same studio which is the way I think it should be because that's how you end up getting a release as fucking awesome sounding as the new Cerebral Rot record. Which is recorded analogly, but Phantom Magnus, holy fucking shit. Incorporal Passage is just one of those slabs of death metal that it gets under your skin in the fucking best way Possible. So eat death and join the whispers. This is fucking sickening, vicious, savage death metal from Portland, Oregon. Sick riffing, gnarly doomed out passages. This is just essential listening if you're a fan of Pacific Northwestern death metal. And See the Doom did such a good job on the 7-inch, cosmetically, sound-wise, everything about this is so fucking good. I, I really like the vinyl stickers and everything, and I just love this release so fucking much. Thank you again, Steve and Linda. You both fucking rule. Seed of Doom Records is the fucking shit. They have some gnarly stuff coming out too. Um, oh, it's all the way over there. Uh, Windagong has a split coming out with Dead, I think. And they have some merchandise coming out as well. But another new Windagong 7 inch sounds fucking amazing. But Phantom Magnus. Two tracks of just pure Pacific Northwest death metal savagery. I fucking love this and I am almost guaranteeing you sickos at home are going to love this as well. Incorporal Passage by Thana Magus. Fuck yes. On Seed of Doom Records. I will put links below so you maniacs can grab this. Seriously, like, it doesn't get much gnarlier than having members from Apraxic, Virtual Necromancy, Grave Dust, Descended Dead, Necrosic, fucking Blood Soaked. The list goes on and on and on with Charlie. Funeral Barum, like, fuck yeah, dude. And it's just insane how many bands John Quintana's in. Fucking one of the best dudes in the underground. And Nick is new to me. I have not... Like, I thought the name sounded familiar. Nick Alasio. But fucking great job with the guitar work on here. As that's one of my favorite features of this 7-inch. Is just how sick the riffing is. I love how it goes from just like... Savage as fuck, gnarly, fast death metal, and then just gets dipped into some fucking slimy ooze and just gets doomed the fuck out. Phantom Magus, Incorporal Passage on Seed of Doom Records, an amazing, amazing 45 RPM 7 inch of death metal savagery. From Portland, Oregon. Get 
into this release. I cannot recommend this enough. It's available on 7 inch and cassette. Seriously, get this before it is gone. I do not know numbers, but this is so fucking good. Just wow. Thank you again to see the Doom Records and we've been blasting the Quisitor, Downfall the Apostates on Night Shroud Records. Thank you, Jesus, for sending this my way last year. As this really did not leave my turntable for months when I first got it. Killer, killer death metal here. The Quisitor and Thanamagus. Just two slabs of amazing, amazing death metal. But right now, probably one of America's best bands that are still in the demo stages of things. Expect more from Thanamagus in the future because this band is awesome. And again, thank all you maniacs at home for watching as well. You fucking rule. Thank you, John, again at Grave Dust for the shirt. And thank you, Grave Dust, for just fucking ruling. And you sickos at home, keep watching. And True Cult Coffee. Oh, man, that shit is delicious. I legitimately tried some earlier. Yo, fuck yeah. I'll put my code below. This video has been sponsored by True Cult Coffee. Seriously. That Nicaraguan blend is so fucking dialed in. I cannot recommend it enough if you're a coffee fiend like myself. So goddamn good. And as always, thanks for watching again. You fucking rule. Hail Smith.